So one of the things that drives the group is playing music that is new to us. So I've arranged almost all of the music. John has done some. Um, and I very uh, am very focused on projects. I tend to get focused on a project and I will do the project until it's done and, uh, and then bring it to the guys and they'll look at it like the African piece and say, are you crazy? You can't play this. <laughs> and then we work on it and it, it, it's okay. Um, when you're in a position like me, uh, uh, where I'm a composer and I'm arranging and transcribing music for four guitars and I know what these guys can do, I try to keep them busy. I don't want them uh, <laughs> one of the problems that we have is finding places for page turns because we're playing all the time. So we spread our music out and it's just a dilemma. I, can't, I don't want them to rest. I want to keep them busy. Uh, so the projects are all basically recording projects. We've done five recordings. The first one was called Something Wondrous Fair. Realizations was an album of Baroque music for the four of us. It's Bach, Handel, Vivaldi, Scarlatti. Uh, the third album was called Covers, and it covers tunes like My Funny Valentine, uh, All the Things You Are, Tequila, that kind of stuff, uh, Watermelon Man, uh, Tequila is how it is. Our next album, our fourth recording, was called Classic, and it's four symphonies, a symphony by Mozart, by Haydn, by uh, Wagenseil, a little-known gallant composer who really liked the piece, and Antonio Salieri. Then our most recent one was uh, World Tour. The piece that we're going to play now is from a, a, a project that's down the road. I don't even know when we're going to record it. Um, I'm on project 19 right now, so it's, it's in the past for me. Uh, the recording is called Jane Austen's Dance Party. <laughs> and it's music from the age of Jane Austen. Uh, Jane Austen was born on the same exact birth date as Beethoven, so she grew up in the heart of the classical age, and have all of the characters in her novels play instruments, and there's a lot of dance parties and music uh, to talk about in her books. So uh, it's got a big suite of, of music from that, and and a couple of English folk songs, and some music from Ireland, uh, from Wales. So the piece that we're playing uh, tonight is. Uh, um, an English folk song called The Water is Wide. I just wanted to mention real quick that we have these uh, handouts, these pamphlets, and uh, this is for our concert series, which will start uh, in the fall. The first concert is on uh, Friday, October 24th, and uh, we are playing a Vivaldi concerto with a guest artist on each of the concerts. And speaking of Jane's Jane Austen's Dance Party will be premiering that work uh, on the second of these concerts, which is Friday, January 16th. So these pamphlets are in the back there by the uh, CDs. And if you're interested, you'll see here that our first concert is titled Baroque Cage Match. <laughs> <laughs> Bach versus Handel. <laughs> 